David, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make some snow. What do you... I thought I was here to learn about how to throw a snowball. Well, to throw a snowball, you, you need snow. Oh. And, and, I made, and this is my little homemade snow-making machine, just like the ones they use in ski hills. It doesn't seem to be working because the temperature is just about zero. So I guess, I guess my question is, what exactly... How is snow made in the first place? Well, what you need for snow is you, you need moisture. You need teeny little bits of dust that the moisture can form around, and you need cold. And depending on how much water vapor there is and, 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 um, and the temperature, you'll get a variety of snowflake shapes from little crystals, uh, the familiar snowflake shapes, to little columns, to little icy bits. So sometimes you can, whenever it's snowing, you can catch a snowflake on a dark surface and look at it, and that will tell you a lot about how much water there is up there and how cold it was where the snow was formed. It's really neat. There's got to be quite a bit of moisture, almost 50% of that s snow has to be water for it to stick together to make either a snowman or a good snowball that you could fling at something. So let's see if we can make a snowball. Uh -huh. now so we're just at the point right now where it could start to be okay. You can see it's sticking together. Yep. You're actually melting the water and then it's refreezing and making ice that's helping to hold it together. Absolutely. Fantastic. All right. Okay, so we have a snowball. I think this is a pretty good one. Now we have two different flingers here. And what makes this tricky for snowball fling is that by using this, you're making your arm longer. and You're not used to having a longer arm, so that's what makes it You don't have the same amount of precision. Exactly. Because ah. you're used to using your own arm length. Ready? Okay. Oh, missed! <laughs> Woo! Okay, you know what? I think you definitely had the advantage with the shorter flinger. My accuracy was way off. Yeah, this is closer to my own arm length. I was closer than you! <laughs> <laughs> 